know, speak from the heart. I really don't give a fuck if it makes sense. I was driving to work, and uh, honestly, the only reason I'm coming is because the person I work for uh, works at the hospital, and she's needed. And as I was driving to work, and I have, I can't see shit in front of me, in most places. Um, the roads are really bad, but I gotta have faith that even if I can't see in front of me, I'm gonna make it. And all I can think is, this is the life I've led, you know? To have faith, even if I can't see what's in front of me. And in a figurative sense, when you don't know what you're gonna do, but you surrender and you, you let yourself, you know, manifest a new life. Or in like literal sense of, you know, snowstorms and things like that. Some people have never lived that. So, you know, it's hard to make a leap of faith when you have no idea what faith is. You've never had to have it, I guess. And I was thinking this on my way to work, you know, having this thing that I've known, but just realizing it to my core and uh, experience something I've never experienced before. Uh, here in Canada, we have, you know, tests of the emergency broadcast system. I've lived that all my life, but I've never lived a real alert that I can remember that, you know, whatever. And at 7.24 on the radio, the wah, wah, wah of the emergency broadcast system started and I realized it wasn't an alert and uh, Pickering, nuclear station, something's going on there. Pickering, precious. Lord of the Rings. Inside me, I've had a lot of uh, the wake up calls, I call them, triggers. Notre Dame burning was one of them. Uh, where just everything is lit inside me and I know certain things like are falling into place in the plan. I've been calling this day for, I don't remember how long now, uh, two, three weeks maybe, really intensely. I've spoken about it openly to people I speak to. That today is a big day, uh, energy-wise. And, uh, it is, you know, I, I don't know what people resonate with. There's been, there's so much talk of tribe. There's so much talk of so many things, but you know, are you really all in? And that's why I say this, you know, I'm speaking from the heart. This might not make sense because essentially I'm speaking to the souls that are part of my soul group, tribe, uh, ilk. Here to say, you know, free will, it's your choice, but it, you promise to play a certain part, if you're ready, jump in, can shovel alone, can get to work alone, there's some things that were planned and I wasn't supposed to be alone. So we'll know if I'm talking to you, right? Um, yeah, so I got to work and uh, I couldn't get in the driveway. And my boss has a bigger a vehicle than me. She plowed out, she just gunned it out. And uh, I tried to jump the bank, but uh, I got stuck halfway on the highway and off and uh, managed to get out, park the car, come in, and uh, figure out for getting in the driveway. But yeah, don't matter if I did what I needed to do to get to work safe when I got there, the steps weren't taken so that I could be safe to get in. 
that's why my heart call says, you know, you're supposed to be a part of something. Take the leap of faith. Do the steps you're supposed to do. I'm doing them. <laughs>